Hi, I'm Jamal. And I'm London. And I was the makeup artist. And I was the image consultant. And we were both a part of recreating Amina's Glam for the Love and Hip Hop New York Season 6 reunion. Here's how to get the look. Hi, I'm Jamal, and I created the look on Amina for Love and Hip Hop New York Season 6, and I'm going to recreate it on my model Naraya. So the first thing we're going to do is prep the skin. For the stage, I really wanted the skin to be pretty glowy, and as you can see, she has nothing on the skin yet. So we're going to keep the focal point of the shine on the inside, and then keep the rest of the skin pretty matte. So I'm going to start off with the MAC Lightful Marine Bright Formula. It's really good to give the skin hydration, and it helps the foundation go on really easy and smooth and make sure that the skin is plump and hydrated. So to do that, I'm going to put it into my palm. And apply it with a Morph Duo Fiber Brush. And you're going to start from the inside and work your way out. And you want to make sure that you disperse it evenly, because if not, it can make your foundation go on blotchy, and that's not really Prepping the skin is also important to make sure that when you apply the foundation, it doesn't stick into the dry patches. A lot of people think that they're oily all over, but it's usually only in the center. So to start highlighting, I'm going to start off with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is one of my favorite concealers because it's full coverage and it's light. Now I'm going to go in and contour, and to do that, my favorite product is the Black Opal Foundation Sticks. Um, they're really easy and compact, and you can go in and contour really easily. And what I'm going to do is think of a line from here to the end of the brow, and you want it to hit in the direction of the mouth. So I'm going to start at the top of the ear, blending it into the hairline, and coming right before. And your skin it kind of goes off the skin. Once the product gets off of the skin, that's where you know you're supposed to stop. Find a little bit more in there. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even because it's going to be blended out. <clears throat> but usually, once you follow it, you're safe. And you always want to go in and add more product onto the forehead because with any ponytail, you never want the forehead to look too big, so you always go in with more contour. And now we're starting to get dimension happening. So, like I said, being that we did a deeper skin tone on her, it's really starting to give to the effect of that bronzy Miami kind of feel. When you're blending your primer, you don't want to move it around too much. You just want to press it into the skin. Because when you move it around, that's when you shear it out and it gets too blotchy and you don't want it to be uneven. So we wanted to do a sophisticated, sleek, and sexy look. So we decided to do red because we wanted to do something vibrant and she had a surprise for the audience. So we went with a more, you know, the sequence. But for this, we wanted to do a more uh, understated piece, which could be turned up or turned down depending on how you wear it. And with this one, we did a, a thigh-high boot. So it kind of gives it a more, you know, sexy, a more, you know, sophisticated and sexy look, still an all-in-one. 
But we didn't want to do, um, what you don't want to do, ladies, though, is over-accessorize. That could be one of your major downfalls with your looks. So with the Mina look, we wanted to do something simple. We did studded earrings. And we did a simple uh, studded ring. And with this model, we did the same thing. We did a, a, a drop-down earring, which is from Lost Queen Collection. And we also did a studded silver ring. And there you have it. That's the look.